Hey, YouTube. Well, <laughs> guess what's in the news today? I was just strolling around the internet and I found out that this child, Cordell Stewart, is suing Funky Dineva about that little tape that came out a few months ago. Earlier this year, there was a tape. It was, uh, I think it remember, showed his booty or something, Cordell Stewart. Well, now Cordell is, is accusing this dude saying that, first of all, how he acquired the tape. He even imp uh, uh, indicated that his wife might have something to do with it, Portia Stewart. Anyway, but uh, he's saying that Funky Dineva, Quentin Latham, had opened up some, some kind of account to, to mask where he got the, ta the, the tape from. So he's saying that he acquired it some other kind of way and then he opened a fake account and suggested that Cordell was talking to a man when this happened or something like that. Anyway, you can go to, use your Google people. Go to Google. I think, oh, this is just a little gossipy thing on YouTube, right? So I like to verify things. Go to the regular web. Go on the web. Put, put Cordell Stewart sues Funky Dineva and you will get not one but two or three pages of this story, which means it has actually happened. Now, y'all gonna stop playing with this Cordell Stewart. I don't know what his motivations are or what. I can't imagine he thinks he's gonna get millions of dollars out of Funky Dineva. But, but now, you gotta take this lawsuit thing seriously. Because, I mean, he just won a lawsuit against Andrew Caldwell, right? I think it was $3 million. Caldwell says, so what? Might as well be $3,000. Three I ain't got no money. And Cordell Stewart went into his bank, according to, according to Andrew, and took every dime out of his bank. That means that this man is, is serious about collecting his money. So when you get a judgment against you, that means anytime you deposit money in a bank, or you file your, your, your W, is it W4, W2, what, W4? And they can find you. They can actually come and take your money. They can garnish your wages. They can take money out of your bank. So even if you don't have millions of dollars, if they have a, a judgment against you for millions of dollars, they can continue to collect money from you until it's paid off. Ask OJ. <laughs> of course, there are rules where they can't take, but uh, this is a mess. So just knowing that Cordell is after your ass... <laughs> After he done proved time to time, apparently he just likes suing people. That's his thing. I don't, for me, if I was a straight man, <clears throat> watch what I say. He come knocking on my door. I wouldn't be going out of my way to get myself involved in all this gay shit, right? Because now we all going to be talking about Cordell and the gay again. It's going to be in the news again. Accusations about his sexuality again. Now, if I was a straight man and that shit was way in the past, I would leave it right there. I would not be blowing up all myself all up over, over online with all these damn gay issues and gay lawsuits and gay, 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 all the time gay. But he seems to enjoy doing that. So it's an awkward situation for Funky Dineva. Now, I don't know him. I don't know if we even talked online before. I don't know. Yeah, but it's something to be concerned about since this dude actually comes after the money. So I don't know what his motivations are, uh, uh, Cordell. He can't think he's gonna get that kind of money, but I think he just wants to punish people who he thinks, who he feels has slighted him. So if he can get in there and get a lawsuit <clears throat> and lock up your wages for the rest of your life, basically own your ass, that's some kind of revenge for him. My advice to you, Quentin Latham, Funky Dineva, Show up at the court date. Fight the case, but you have to show up. That's what happened to Andrew. You don't show up, you lose by default, and you owe this man whatever he's suing you for. I don't know how many, how much he thinks he can pull out of that. Go ahead and fight the case. That's my advice. Do not miss court dates. More people fuck up that because they feel like it's all frivolous because they don't have no money. That don't mean shit. That means you can never, never, never acquire any money. 
You remember, I used the same example I used when he sued Andrew. Remember how the, the Goldmans, how they pursued O.J. Simpson? Now, they have a judgment against him. That's for life until he pays them. So even now, if O.J. were to go in to get him a Taco Bell or something and, get, and make, make a little money, <clears throat> they can pop out of the woodwork and take everything he got still. They have rules around his FB, uh, his NBA thing. They can't get a hold of that. I guess he can have a house. Other than that, I have a feeling they'll still be coming after him. So Quentin <clears throat> is being sued again. This guy's not having the best of luck with his court thing. It seems like every time I, 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 I come across him, it's because he's being sued by somebody. <clears throat> but I do want to... Uh, Acknowledge the, the, acknowledge the time that I got this news. Because apparently it only happened two days ago. And it is real. So check it out. Okay, Quentin Latham. Show up for your court date. Have your, 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 your documentation and your story straight. Because there's a good chance he'll back out of it or not show up himself. But if you don't show up, he wins and you owe him millions. All right, happy Friday, people.